What's going on, everybody? It's me, Winston. If you're really serious about taking care of your new engine, you know, just as much as I am, uh, you're going to find that uh, most people who's had engines are older or, you know, you know, they still have their stock engines, they'll find that if they take apart their manifold from the, the head, you know, they're going to find themselves with a very, very dirty intake manifold. And the reason being is there's pressure in the in in the head. I'm not a technical guy and everything to explain this, but all I know is that when you know when the valves doing their thing in here doing the combustion and whatnot, there's all sorts of blow by going on inside the head, okay? And because of the heat, these gases that are created in these chambers, they create pressure and this the PCV or the positive crankcase ventilation system is supposed to relieve that pressure. But what that does though, because VTEC with the extra oils coming out uh, and everything, that pressure, that air is being pushed out along with some of that extra oil. Okay. And that travels back through and ends up back in your intake manifold. And that's, that's why there are some engines that have like maybe 20 plus years old and have a really, really messed up intake manifold because of all the PCV that's going, you know, all that blow by air that's going back into your intake manifold. So a way I'm going to, uh, the way I'm going to help relieve that and minimize the amount of dirt that builds up in your intake manifold is I am going to put together an oil catch can. Well, it's not like the one that is back here, but it's going to be just like, well, it's homemade. <laughs> what I, I've seen some other ones being made like this. However, I have this like little valve down here at the very bottom where I can just close it, you know, close it like so, just so I, I, I don't have to take the whole thing apart and, you know, just to empty the oil that gets accumulated in this chamber. Okay. So I'm going to create for you today oil catch can device that's going to connect straight to your PCV to help separate more of that oil away from the, uh, the air that goes back in the intake manifold. So let me show you how to put it together. For this you will need an air compressor filter, fuel injection line, 3 eighths, quarter inch by quarter inch brass hose bar adapter okay four hose clamps big enough to fit uh, from a quarter inch to five eighths and if you have it either Teflon Teflon paste or Teflon tape the other piece of the puzzle that I nearly forgot to mention is this steel wool pad you're going to be putting some of this inside of this tank so that it acts like a baffle so that when the oil builds up this will prevent it from sloshing around and going back up into the uh, the vacuum or the pressure line. Now, the first thing you're going to do is take this off the reservoir. Set that aside. Take off this filter. You won't need this because you will have something else that will act as your baffle now please do not lose that ring okay at this point you can actually you can either leave it off or you could put it back on for me I'm gonna try putting it back on because I believe it'll help me keep the steel wool moving up there okay so it should look like that I decided you know what it kind of looks tacky I'm gonna take this off set that aside right there I wouldn't throw those I wouldn't throw these pieces away just yet though so you never know but take your steel wool 
just enough to fit it in there comfortably. Don't, you know, don't cram it in there. Okay. Should look like that. Don't forget about your ring. Because that's, that's what seals, that's what keeps that moisture in there. Okay. And then, go ahead and screw it in there. It should look like so. Voila. Okay. Now, see that arrow on top of your device? Remember that. Okay. Keep track of that. Next, I'm going to take some Teflon tape to the threads of the barbs. This will help ensure a proper seal. Just a little, not overkill. Make sure you have two. Take your barbs. Go ahead and connect it to this valve. Take your wrench, tighten it up. It doesn't have to be super tight, but tight enough. There. Repeat on the other side. That's it. You should have something that looks like that. Remember the arrow, okay? Get this uh, PCV line out, okay? Because we're gonna need that. We're gonna need that for measuring. Now, after you've taken off the piece, you can make some marks. You can make this old PCV pipe as a mock-up for your new one, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up. Upon cutting, I can visually see that there's a quite a little bit of oil in there. It'll give you some idea of what it's like, what your intake manifold might look like when you have it all disassembled and then you just go ahead and try to just jam that in there. Okay, you don't have to put the hose clamps on just yet. Just This is just a mock-up, okay, so it should look something like that. But remember that arrow that I was telling you guys about? It's got to go back into the manifold, okay? At this point, you pretty much have a basic idea of what it's going to look like. Um, I'm, I'm planning on getting strut bars. So I'm going to mount this piece onto the strut bar. But right now, I'm going to cut it down even more so that you have a uh, a perfect fit quote unquote you know what I mean so once again that's what it should look like all right once you have your desired mock-up made go ahead and start trimming down some pieces okay that way you minimize overdoing things this way, you know what I mean? So I'm going to cut there and then from there I'm going to cut again. I'm probably going to end up right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that up. I'll be right back. Once everything you have in place is perfectly fit, Go ahead and clamp it down with the hose clamps. Okay, I've got one here, 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 and here at the manifold. Okay. That pretty much takes care of this uh, tutorial. I'll give you guys an update on how much oil is being accumulated in the uh, chamber. Uh, when I also get a chance to, I don't know, maybe get that strut bar that I've been waiting for and possibly, you know, make another video on relocating and maybe even tying it down to the strut bar that way I have an easier access like I mentioned now I'll give you the list of the costs and the parts that you need and if you don't catch it I'll put it down on the description below it only took me just a handful of time to do it 
it's just the, the the tedious part of it is measuring and getting your fitments right and everything all right so i hope you found this tutorial a little better i'll give you guys a heads up of an update if you will on how much oil i've accumulated in the amount of miles or amount of time that i've been having the uh, device on so keep an eye out for that update and look forward to doing more do you know more mods like this and hopefully this will keep your engine cleaner and and stuff like that okay so i'm gonna go back and join the family you take care be safe out there don't do anything crazy out there kids all right take care of yourselves bye